Hey everyone, and welcome to my video of this puzzle. And let me let you see my smiling face first. I, need to... oh, I guess that's a little bit too bright because I'm, I'm I'm trying out this new light um, to see if this works. So um, first, first I'm going to do an unboxing. I don't know if you can see it, but there's tape right here. I bought this at a um, at a night market. It's originally from Japan. Um, so I don't know, oh, um, I guess for unboxing you're supposed to like show the box. So here's the box. And I got it for two, 290 baht, which is about 10 bucks. And I have no idea what, um, what year it's from. It looks like it's from like the 1970s, but that could be just because of how they shipped it. So... I guess I should have gotten a um, knife or something to open this tape. So yeah, I don't know if this is the, origi the original tape or, or what it is. Okay, so I want to start doing the puzzle as quickly as possible, but, um, but then I'll give you all the background on everything um, later. Throw this tape away, and okay. so here it is. I'm hoping it's new. Oh, cool! It looks kind of new. And whoa. Okay, so this uh, this is similar. This is similar to the last one. I wanted to do. Okay, so one of these is 96 pieces. One of them is 140 pieces, and one is 24 pieces. Okay, so that's definitely not what's on the box, which is 96, 117, and 140. So the 140 of the 96 is there, but this one is too small and too easy. Okay, so that it, the box definitely was opened. Um, this, uh, this is broken, but I don't know if that actually means the box was opened. So uh, that's actually that's actually cool. The last one, um, the last one I did was well. Actually, they had a um, the shop that I got it from had a big box that was supposed to have this one in it. So maybe I could go back and find that other one. Okay. So actually, I don't need this uh, because they're all individual boxes. I don't need this one anymore. So I can put it away. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the smallest one first, and this should be super super easy. Since oh, and, and the one um, the one that I was dreading the one that I was dreading is this one right here because um, this has a bunch of blue on the top, and so hopefully hopefully that it's not an annoying um, puzzle. Okay, so put that right here. What's over here? Okay, so what um, what is this? A stega stegosaurus, and uh, that used to be my favorite dinosaur. I don't know. Um, I don't know why, but stegosauruses or stegosauri are really cool. And this one's different because it has. Um, oh, um, actually, I forgot that uh, my camera. Um, takes a long, long time to refocus, so I'm going to try not to hold stuff up to the camera. So, so anyway, right, um, right here has some Japanese writing, which is interesting because the last puzzle I did from this didn't have any Japanese writing. And okay, so um, so if you're watching this on. Facebook, then I, uh, before I lose you, if I haven't already, then my request is, could you watch this on YouTube, because that's where I'm posting all of my really good videos. Um, well, um, hopefully, hopefully you guys like my uh, videos. So, and I don't know if you can actually see that. I'll put that right there. Okay. Um, so, 
what I'm uh, what uh, what I'm doing is building up to doing a one thousand piece puzzle, which um, usually takes me like five to eight hours, and uh, just trying to figure out how to be entertaining while I am doing something as solitary as building a puzzle for uh, five to eight hours. So, so uh, this uh, this one is uh, well, it's supposed to be like two hundred pieces, but it's a little bit easier since this one is the super, super easy one. Um, and, um, and so th um, the last one I did was three, or, or, or no, the first one I did was 300 pieces. The, um, the last one I did was, uh, was the smaller version, or, or was a smaller version of this, I think um, 100, 100, 200 pieces, I'm not really sure, um, but it was, um, but it was pretty easy. Okay, and I want to do this upside down so you guys can see it. Um, and so, so when I'm doing this puzzle, I'm also going to try and like talk about my method for doing the puzzle. Um, I, I really like doing puzzles. I've been doing them since I was a kid, and for me, they're fun and relaxing. I think for most people, they're like annoying, and um, but but for me, I really like them. So I'm just kind of weird in that way. So this, okay. So this one, um, this one's super easy. Twenty-four pieces and done. And I'll put this right here. Oh, let me put it underneath my other stuff. Okay, so that one's done. Um, this one, this one's 96 pieces, and the other one's 140 pieces. I'm guessing the 96 piece one is going to take me about 15 minutes. So how, how long did that take? Me? Seven minutes and 36 seconds, plus the unboxing. So, whoa. and uh, with e with these, I uh, with these, it's really really interesting that. Um, None of the pieces, at least on the last one, got lost. Oh, this one is a Stegosaurus. And, oh, it says it in Japanese right here. But I don't know how to read Japanese. Stegosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, two Stegosauruses, Stegosauri. Um, okay, so this one... This one looks pretty good. I, I really don't like um, empty empty stuff so these uh, these ones these ones have a decent amount of empty stuff but still not too bad okay so so the first thing that I always do when I am doing a puzzle is I turn over every single one of the pieces and if um, if I can you can usually do that if you have a big enough table and puzzles less than 1,000 or 1,500 pieces. Uh, this this table is pretty small, so I think... Oh, I, I'm going to do a 500-piece puzzle, and I think I, I should be able to fit the whole 500-piece puzzle on this on this table. Um, but for for me, flipping, flipping over everything is um, just a really important first step. Oh, and then um, I always like to, like, find a color that I really like. Um, this one's this one's orange, and put all those pieces aside. And I know that most people um, flip over the edge pieces first, but that's um, the only time that I flip over the edge pieces is when I'm, or I'm um, sorry, the only thing the only time that I gather the edge pieces is when I'm doing a puzzle a puzzle with somebody else, and then. It makes it easier for that person to put together uh, pieces because ed um, edge pieces are a little bit easier than other pieces. But if you do, um, if 
if you spend a lot of time just doing the edge pieces first, then you um, then you're not doing the puzzle as fast as you could be doing it. Okay, so all the pieces are pretty much flipped over. And I got all the orange pieces, and they're right here, so I'm going to put them together. Oh, because there are two stegosauruses. So I'm not really sure what my favorite dinosaur is now. I it's been a while since I've done very much with or researched very much on dinosaurs, but I still think that dinosaurs are cool because dinosaurs are awesome. And oh, and one thing I noticed in my last puzzle video is usually when I'm doing puzzles, when I'm thinking, I, I make the sound like. T -t 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 um, but um, but it's more like um, more like a click or whatever, and I realize that doesn't actually translate very well into um, into video. So I'm gonna try and not um, make a my clicking thinking sound as I'm doing this. So the next most common color is blue, or the, mo uh, the next most interesting color is blue. And that's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, and the Stegosaurus is green, okay. Stegosaurus is green, the trees are green. Um, I guess I can separate out the Stegosaurus from the other stuff too. And so far this is a pretty interesting puzzle. Um, I, um, the, way that I, the way that I pick puzzles is I always pick the easiest puzzle. And I know you're supposed to pick a challenge, but I, uh, the challenge for me is doing it fast. Um, rather than doing like impossible puzzles, and I've, I've done, um, I've done like really, I've I've done really hard puzzles before, like the, the one, um, the one without any, well, actually the, um, most of the puzzles that get advertised as really really hard are, super super easy. So like, uh, like the one, um, there was one by, I, can't remember, I think it was Ravensburger. That had that was completely blank, but they made the shapes, so it was actually one of the easier puzzles that I've um, that I've done. Because I uh, usually when I'm doing a puzzle, I put a lot together by the shape. So I should have looked up some interesting facts on dinosaurs so that I could talk about um, Tyrannosaurus, Stegosaurus, um, other dinosaurs while I'm doing this. Oh. Oh, and I found out um, I'm, I'm trying a few new things with my camera. Uh, this is actually the second time I tried a, oh, on the text, text should be pretty easy. Oh, so, so, I'm, so I'm trying a few new things. Uh, this is the first time with my light. Um, it's um, a 
lot of a lot of my videos, especially my interview videos, were way too dark. So I got this cool um, light. It's a what is it? L LED um, LED light that you plug into a power bank, and and then you get. Um, I think this has turned down a lot of the way to. Oh, so what, um, one of the one of the reasons that I'm doing this is I'm trying to figure out how to be interesting on camera for an extended period of time. I think that if um, well, my my theory is that if I'm able to be interesting for an extended period of time, then I'll be able to be interesting for a short period of time. So eventually, eventually, I'm going to make shorter videos but uh, for now uh, for now for now these are just really good practice for me to make long um, super long videos and I'm and uh, for me it's really hard to oh that's his claw. For, uh, for me it's really hard to talk and uh, uh, talk talk nonstop like a like a stream of consciousness kind of thing, and um, and so anyway, thanks for thanks very much for listening to my personal challenge of trying to get better at doing this stuff. So one of the things, one of the things I really like about puzzles is when you can pick up any piece and figure out where it is. Like this, uh, this piece is the Tyrannosaurus Rex's arm right here. So I know that uh, that one goes right here. So I I I really like that in a um, I really like that in a puzzle. Oh, and then uh, the last time, because I, um, the last time I did this, I tried to have the very last piece to be an edge piece, just to stubbornly prove my point that I, or just to stub stubbornly, um, back up my claim that I always do the edge pieces last, but I, um, <laughs> I probably don't actually need to do that. And, and usually when I'm doing a puzzle with somebody else, then somebody else will always do the edge pieces first. So that's one of the things that makes doing puzzles with somebody else um, more fun. Oh, that goes all the way up there. Green is on there. Okay. So yeah, these um, um, the ten ten colored edge pieces at the bottom are just kind of um, bugging me. So that's why I'm finding them all. like the only tan pieces are the tan pieces at the bottom. 
bottom, but maybe I'm missing out on some. So, oh, so um, the the thing about the thing about this is I I noticed there are a lot of time lapse videos, but there aren't any. Uh, well, there are like four or five like actual like real time um, videos like this where people are actually putting together a um, puzzle and. Um, but but none um, none where they're actually like talking, and so now that I thought more about it, at, um, at first I was worried that there's this um, there was this um, something that I was just missing, and that I would uh, I would put together it and realize oh that's because when whatever then this happens. But I think. Um, I think that most people that put together puzzles are more solitary kind of um, folks, and so um, most people most people put together like twenty, thirty puzzles, and then and then say, hey, I should share this with other people, but it'd be just kind of boring me putting together a puzzle. So and then time lapses are cool, so let me just um, do a time lapse. So I think that's why there are a whole bunch of time lapses, but no um, people, no people doing what I'm doing, which is putting this uh, together. And it could be that everyone thinks it's boring and nobody actually watches these, but that's not going to stop me from producing um, content that I think is awesome. So, oh, so I was telling you about all the all the stuff that I'm trying out here. One of the things is the light. One of the things is the oh, and and this light uh, this light's really really cool. I'm uh, um, super excited to not have bad lighting in my future video videos. And it's pretty it's pretty portable too. Oh, and my kind of my challenge is to be able to make cool videos without buying an iPhone and without spending thousands of dollars. And so I have um, I keep I keep trying new stuff, um, buying some stuff, realizing oh this is this is garbage. I have to throw this one away, and then. Again, like I got a, um, I got a mixing, mixing board, mixing box, mixing. Um, um, I got a, I got a couple of them, like cheap ones from, from China, but they were way, way, way overblown for what I needed. And I'm actually using a mixing. Um, it's, it's a, it's like a, it's a super small mixing box. It's more like a kind of amplifier, and. And so, um, hopefully, hopefully the sound's better because sound is really, really hard to get right, um, especially on a video like uh, like this. And um, actually, I just wanted to. Uh, my my big motivation is because when people plug in their uh, when people plug in um, headphones and then listen through headphones, it just looks cool. So um, I wasn't sure if that if, it, if that was would be actually for any um, useful at all um, I just wanted to look cool by wearing headphones and so I'm uh, I don't know um, you probably couldn't see me because I okay that's right there um, you probably couldn't see me because I um, move pretty fast but the um, But I'm wearing I, um, I'm wearing headphones right now, and um, and I and I got this little uh, super super cheap super um, small box from 
China that just basically amplifies the sound and then um, pipes it pipes it back to uh, the headphones and then out um, out to out to the um, uh, what, uh, what's that called the thing that camera. Okay, that goes there. This looks like somebody's... Oh, that's a tail. This tail oh, that's the Tyrannosaurus Rex tail. Oh, and so with um, with with puzzles, I always do the easiest parts first, so you can tell which parts I think are hard by the parts that I do last. And um, just like I was telling you, the white um, creamy parts up at the top are the ones that I think are the hardest, and so those are the ones that I'm doing last. And then it looks like this definitely has some pieces missing, but um, my advice is don't ever stress over the missing pieces because they often uh, show up later. And then, especially like um, one of the things that especially new puzzlers do is they get really, really stressed about um, missing pieces and spend a whole bunch of time looking for uh, pieces, wondering if they're missing or not. Okay, so interesting. One, two, three, four, four missing pieces. And interestingly, somebody wrote a note in Japanese that says there are four missing pieces. Okay, so the whole reason I do puzzles is not for um, is not for. I need to move some stuff around a little bit. Okay, so the whole the whole reason I do puzzles is not is not to get like to frame them or anything, and actually I'm going to put this one on top of this one. Okay, so I'm trying to think how to best put one of these on top of the other. One of um, one of my tests for is a puzzle great or not is can you pick it up? And with these puzzles, um, the, um, these puzzles are really great for kids. They look like they're somewhat waterproof, and um, and I think they're out of print. So it's super sad that they're out of print. So, okay, let me try the other way, which is put this one on top of that one. They look like they're about the same um, size, so uh, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna completely give up on moving these. This one, this one's 140 pieces, and hopefully they're all here. Ooh. This looks like what does? Oh, I can't read Japanese anyway. Oh, one, um, one piece missing. So, um, so with this, um, this one's the least interesting of them. Um, it has this big background in the background, and okay. So I'm kind of running out of space, and I guess that's part of the fun and challenge of doing. Oh, here's that bird right here. Um, part of the fun and challenge of doing something like this on a limited space. Oh, I could do it diag diagonally, so, or um, horizontally, vertically. Yeah, so if this were a if this were a puzzle just all by itself, I wouldn't want to do it. Uh, but um, dinosaurs are pretty cool, and then usually I do that. Um, my favorite is usually a thousand piece puzzles, but and on a thousand piece puzzle that would be just way way too much blue. But on a one hundred and forty piece puzzle, it's it shouldn't be that bad. has the names of the dinosaurs in Japanese. Wonder if they're like actual names like if this is Stegosaurus or if it's the names that the painter gave it like Frank and um, Gertrude. So this one doesn't really have that many interesting um, colors for me to start with. The um, yeah, the sand is the most interesting part about this. So far. And I guess if I put together the sand, which are, which are all edge pieces, that like really goes against what I was trying to say earlier about don't put the edge, um, don't put the edge pieces together first. But this isn't my favorite puzzle anyway. So um, oh, and the advice I always um, give people is if it doesn't uh, fit naturally, then force it like that. Eventually, everything works out in the end. Okay, so dinosaurs. I used to love dinosaurs. Um, I don't remember if I had any dinosaur books, or I probably had some dinosaur books. I the problem with dinosaurs is 
in a language like English, it's really, really difficult to know how they're pronounced. Like in, um, in, in Thai or in Spanish, um, dinosaurs are more awesome because they're, um, with the way that they're written, there's only one way of pronouncing them. Where in English, um, you can, um, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you could pronounce um, pretty much anything, so who knows how you're actually supposed to um, pronounce any of the dinosaur names. And I, I certainly don't, maybe there's a, well, back when I was a kid there wasn't um, internet or anything where you could look up and hear other people pronounce dinosaur names. Oh, and that's the same thing with, with Pokemon, how do you know... Um, <clears throat> how do you know how to pronounce Pokemon? Unless, well, I guess Japanese is a is another language like uh, like Thai or Spanish, where um, if you can if you can read it, then you can um, then it, then it's basically um, it basically. Oh. Oh yeah, so so I um, I really like playing Pokemon games. I haven't played the uh, what's uh, what's the game that everyone um, plays all the time? It's Pokey um, Pokey something. The um, the um, the one where you uh, um, it's like Ingress but um, with Pokemon. Um, so I haven't I haven't played that one. Um, I, I I really wanted to play it, but then it took like forever to come to Thailand. And I kept, um, like, my friend said, oh, hey, it's, um, it's available in, um, oh, Pokemon Go. It's available in Thailand now, download it, so I downloaded it, and um, you, could, um, you could do just a little bit of stuff with it, but not, but not very much stuff. <clears throat> and then in, um, in, that, um, in that time when I was waiting for Pokemon Go, then I um, started contributing to Google Maps, and so... Um, that that became my like main. Oh, that's weird. Uh, that uh, that became my main hobby and uh, for quite a while and I didn't. I I just never got into Pokemon Go. But maybe it would be cool now. Oh, so so um, there um, there've been a couple there've been a couple games. What was the I can't remember the system I played uh, a Pokemon game on for for a long time. But um, but some of the Pokemon games are pretty cool. Um, oh, that's, this looks like an octopus. Oh, that's a. I used to know the name of this thing, but I don't know it now. I never realized it looks like an octopus. Okay. So I think with this one, I'm going to kind of have to put it together like upside down or like um, this way. So as soon as I get like this much, then uh, I'm going to need to turn it. But I guess you saw the first two right side, right side up. So hopefully that is exciting enough. And oh, and, and I'm actually not sure how long of a video I can upload to Facebook. I've never seen someone upload a. This one's going to be about fifty minutes, I'm guessing, maybe. So I'm not sure if I can upload one that um, that that big. So if or maybe it'll cut it off. But um, like I like I already plugged my YouTube channel. Please um, um, please go over there and watch watch this on YouTube instead of uh, oh I guess I shouldn't say instead of Facebook because then Facebook will um, parse parse me and ban me for not. Um, Promoting them. Okay. And oh, one I didn't turn over yet. Oh, and then these green ones. 
heads. Oh, that's that's weird. They have green heads. So I guess um, one of the uh, one of the things that people always say about the dinosaurs is that they had feathers, or they, uh, which uh, which is weird. Why um, why would a Tyrannosaurus rex evolve feathers? I don't understand. To keep to keep them warm, to, to help them fly super short distances. Um, oh, and I'm realizing that I'm um, calling all of these dinosaurs um, male. might be a leftover from when I was a kid pretending to be a dinosaur. Oh, and then these go right here. Okay, these are the green ones. Oh, so one um, one story about dinosaurs from uh, when I was a kid, um, and I don't know if I've ever told the story and set the record straight, but um, so when uh, when I was a kid, then we'd play dinosaurs, uh, or, or I um, uh, that was that was my favorite thing to do was play dinosaurs. And I was playing with this kid across the street, and and we were playing dinosaurs, um, like rah, 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 um, just um, walking um, up, uh, walking around, pretending to be um, violent dinosaurs, um, but like like play fighting. And then, um, and then I, um, I think I was the, well, I can't remember what, what dinosaur I was, but I, um, this, um, uh, this kid was like on the ground and I was, I was roaring like, and then he stood up. Um, um, he stood up, and like his back hit my mouth. And then he started crying, and ran inside. Um, and then I ran home. And then his mom came over to um, my mom, and said. Margaret, you need to control your son. He just bit my son. They're playing dinosaurs, and I think he's taking things a little bit too seriously. So, um, I've never been the most coordinated kid, or the or a coordinated adult either. And so, um, so so it probably um, it probably was my fault. And, um, even though the way I remember it is that he um, rammed his back into my mouth, uh, but I guess um, that's still like technically me biting biting him. So my mom lectured me about how it was um, it's not good to bite your neighbors, and um, I think. Um, I think she was worried that she had a bite, or, or and and then the neighbor, uh, the neighbor lady was um, was like super super concerned. And anyway, that's my 
Um, that's my playing dinosaurs story. That's uh, that's from ha how old was I? Like ten or ten, um, ten or twelve years old or something. But the interesting thing is that in that house where, um, in that house where they lived, there was a four-leaf clover patch. And it was so cool because uh, it was just out in the back, um, in their back, in their backyard, um, way toward the back. And I didn't, um, I didn't find out about it until the next neighbors moved in. But, but they had um, just tons and tons of four-leaf clovers and five-leaf uh, five-leaf clovers, and I think. I think the most um, leaves I've found on a clover in that um, in that mutated patch was like eight or nine leaves on a clover, and so um, anything anything over um, well uh, four leaf clovers are super rare anyway. So I'm not sure what um, I'm, not, I'm not sure why the um, clover patch was so genetically mutated, but. I thought it was really, really cool. Oh, they're butting heads. And I don't... Huh. Yeah, I don't think they're... Tyrannosaurus rexes like I thought they were, because uh, I think I remember there's another dinosaur that butts heads. Which is interesting. Yeah, these um, these dinosaurs definitely don't look like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. Oh, you know, I should have put that first one was. Yeah, I'm still thinking about how to um, move it around so I don't have to do this one sideways, but... But I think we should be fine. Okay. So the... Oh, this, this mountain is what I'm going to try and do next. If I can find the pieces. It looks um, from the. I thought it was missing a whole bunch of pieces, but. But it looks like maybe there are. Maybe there just are. A few of those pieces. Huh. Okay. So. This one, uh, so I connected all the Japanese writing, and oh, I <clears throat> the other thing I did is I got a whole bunch of batteries. Um, this one is a off-brand battery. And um, the last, um, the last one before I, uh, before I changed was an off-brand battery too. So, so so far they're working pretty well. If they don't explode, it will be awesome. Okay. Oh, they have little tiny arms. And then. 
So there's a big brown part. So I keep trying to find the, um, I guess I guess least uh, least common color. I said most common color earlier. I keep trying to find the least common color. Do that, and find the next least common color. Do that, and or or pattern, and then keep doing that until I finish the puzzle. Oh, and and on the um, on the back of these pieces, you can see this one says sixteen. Um, they're all they're all numbered, so. If it, uh, which is uh, which is really cool because if it gets too impossible, then I can just basically cheat. Oh, and this goes all the way over here. Oh, and then uh, the thing, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about is um, cumin, the cumin. Um, cumin learning method. It's um, I think it's kind of like Montessori. It's a um, a way to teach kids, or, or or no, it's a like a proprietary school, and so the uh, the methods uh, the methods actually really really interesting and cool, because what they uh, what they do is every class or every um, every student gets taught with a individual curriculum just for that student, so they do uh, they start out with a bunch of tests and place you in like a level and then you do a bunch of um, a bunch of activities that challenge you to the level that you're at and then they keep getting more and more um, challenging which uh, which which in theory is cool um, I wonder if so so one of the things because um, I'm spending a lot of time learning Thai right now and I, um, the best method that I found for learning Thai is through flashcards. Um, this flashcard app called Anki, um, Anki Droid or Anki, Anki Web. Um, it's the it's the Anki A N K I system. Um, actually, I'm not, I don't actually know how to pronounce it, but I'm just guessing that's how you pronounce it A N K I. And. Um, and so, uh, what was my point with the Anki system? Oh, so so uh, they they basically do the same thing. They um, it, for the words you for the words you know, then you only study them a little bit, and for the words you don't know, then you study study them a lot, which um, which is supposed to be the best way for learning, and. Um, and and it is really cool, but the thing that I've noticed is that I'm always studying stuff. Since I'm always studying stuff that I don't know, it gets really really frustrating because like everything everything I don't know, and I and the moments where I and presented with something that I get like positive feedback and like yeah cool I know this already are very very rare like uh, like the words that I know really well now they're um, now they're um, now they're spaced at like five or six um, I think my most spaced out word is um, six um, it, it, it's, it only gives to me every six years so that's a long, long time to wait for me to get positive feedback that, hey, I know this word already. Um, so anyway, one of the um, one of the things with Anki is that I'm really I'm um, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to get over the discouragement of just not knowing all the words, and then also um, I I made my deck myself. Um, you can also um, you can also download my deck if you want to learn Thai from uh, from Anki. And uh, oh, and I can talk about my transliteration system that I think is really cool. Um, okay, so so the thing that uh, the thing that I'm kind of struggling with is how to keep motivated when when I'm just studying stuff that I don't know. 
and then a lot of oh um, my point about my um, since I made my deck myself, so I actually have a lot of like weird words in there like um, what's a um, like like all the grammar all the grammar words and all the words for all the technical words for the Thai characters that um, even a lot of Thai people don't know. Um, for uh, for me for, for me they're interesting and I thought oh okay I'll just put them um, I'll just put them in there and study them. So, so then, uh, so then, what uh, what ends up happening is all the useful words I memorize and learn really, really fast, and then the useless words are a lot of the ones that I uh, that it keeps giving to me over and over and over again, and I just don't. Um, I'm just not learning them. So, so eventually after like six or eight tries of not getting the right word, then it will suspend, suspend the card, call it a leech card. Um, but, but still, um, and, and, I've, and I have cleaned up my deck a few f different times and got, gotten rid of some of the words that I um, that I don't actually want to learn and study, like um, an example, an example word that I or, or an example was that I got this book and it uh, this kid's book and it went or the story in the kid's book was talking about a bunch of Thai traditional uh, desserts and so I. Um, put I put all those Thai traditional desserts in the in my flashcard program to learn, and a lot of the um, a lot of the desserts had some words that were like um, some words that were good words to learn, but then just I I realized I was memorizing a whole, um, with with that I was memorizing a whole bunch of really useless stuff, so then I dropped that. And and now um, I think I might still have like one or two uh, words in my flashcard list that are about those desserts that I still need to get rid of. Um, but yeah, that uh, that was like a lesson lesson learned. Oh, are there two? Oh, yeah, there are two uh, birds. Uh, what are uh, what are the Dinosaur birds called. Um, I can't. I can't remember. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. So it looks like. Oh, I was. I was definitely wrong about being under an hour. So hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to post this to Facebook, so that you can, uh, for those, for the sole purpose of you guys hearing my um, plug to go watch it on YouTube instead. Oh, and then my camera cuts out every thirty minutes. before the deadline. Okay. There we go. And then we should be good. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Yep, we're back. 
Oh, and the the only thing about um, the, um, these the, um, these new cheap batteries that I have, they're um, they're pretty good, but as soon as they stop, or as soon as they um, go um, show like one bar missing on the uh, one bar missing that that they're like de decharging, then that means it's only like. A matter of minutes before the battery turns off. Oh, and um, and the battery the battery turning off can be disastrous because I actually almost uh, well well the, it lost the files on the disk. Um, oh, that's weird. Okay, it lost uh, it lost the files on the uh, what's, what's it called like flash drive or um, SD card, and so I had to um, have ask a friend to help me recover them. Okay, so this one looks like it's the missing piece, and I I always say don't spend too much time searching for the missing piece, because then you'll be, oh, maybe there's two missing pieces, okay. Okay, this one. Okay, and this uh, this is actually a good time to do the edge pieces because because like uh, like I said, I don't like when I don't like puzzles where they're all like the same. And I um, I can do them and and what's uh, what's more interesting than um, than when they're all the same color is when they have like all the same pattern on like um, one puzzle that was really really difficult but I thought pretty enjoyable was one where oops, uh, was one where. It was a bunch of chicken eggs, and there was one there, there was one chicken and a whole bunch of eggs, and and they. So I had to do it mostly by uh, w well that was a uh, that was an interesting cool cool puzzle for me because I had to do um, I I had to learn a lot of different ways to do the puzzle so that I could put it together because. Because my uh, my normal way of just um, doing the puzzle from how it looks wasn't um, didn't work. Okay. So so this uh, this isn't this isn't too bad because they're all like shaded differently, and so what I'm doing now is just doing all the ones that are slightly whiter. Um, so yeah, I, um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. This is interesting because I um, should be able to see. So oh, there it is, right there. 
And then it looks like there are, oh, um, there aren't two, two, two pieces missing. Um, there's just one, like the box said it was. Okay, so so this is, uh, this is really interesting because, oh, and then let me move things around, so... Well, I could, um, I could maybe, but, uh, but not without bumping around my microphone. And um, anyway, um, I guess you can kind of see that. Oh, so I was gonna, I was gonna make a point or say something. Oh, so, so one of my questions before, because the first, uh, the first one that I did like this, uh, there were no missing pieces, and it looked like um, everything was put together. Or um, it, it it looked new. I couldn't tell if it was new or not. But um, these definitely aren't new because somebody somebody already did them, and that's why there's no plastic in the box. Um, probably they originally came with um, plastic, like wrapped um, wrapped up, like most puzzles do. Oh, and the, and, and then the thing I the thing I wanted to show you is um, uh, the thing about cumin is it has levels. So this is level E, the hard or one of the harder levels. Oh, and then actually my the box the box the back of the the back of this box shows all the different levels. So Oh, e, e is this one. So then they have E, F, G, H, I. So eventually, um, eventually there are, oh, and I's are 330 pieces. Hmm. So it's really, really cool because then you can, uh, then you can go in the steps A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And then it has a bunch of charts in Japanese too. So, anyway, I th um, I think the I think the human the human philosophy is really cool, and I never made my point that hopefully it um, hopefully it doesn't um, end up being like super boring like my Anki flashcards um, when I learned all the interesting words and now I just have boring words that um, that that I don't really use. So anyway, thanks for thanks for thanks for staying to the very end of this and if you like this then let me know and I'll make more puzzles and if you don't like it, um, I, st I I bought I bought another puzzle. It's a round puzzle, so whether you like it or not, that's the next one I'm going to do. So um, thanks very much. Bye.